This is the, um, the coast along the Baltic Sea between two places, one called Rogozho, Rogovo, the other one's called Mirgino. And uh, although it doesn't look like it's the Baltic Sea, the fact the sea's just to the right of me through the, the, the forest there. And uh, today is the, I've lost count of the days, of the days but I think it's 27th of June 2011. And uh, I love to get up my bicycle, and that's precisely what I'm doing now. <laughs> So this village is uh, Mrejeno and uh, I'll start off by walking down this street here. I've got, I've got these wonderful old houses which I presume were once fishermen's cottages. Uh, you can tell from the way they're built with these very high roofs, with the um, very uh, strong slant I would say. The, uh, that they're of German origin. In, for example, in Poland, Poland you see a slant which is much more gentle. That's just a historic Poland before the, the Russian area, before the First World War. This area around here was captured in March 1945 uh, by Polish and Soviet troops, and uh, since then it's been in Poland. But we can see from these houses that the Germanic influence sort of remains and sometimes you can see new houses which are built in a similar sort of style and there's an example so it's been tagged on to the house on the left and this has just been cladded and it's old and beyond the line of trees we've got the, the sea now you just have to see the sea through it so the line of trees is probably what, 150 meters or so a forest and then there's the beach which is really nice and as can be seen on today I mean, it's a wonderful summer's day it's the 28th of June 2011 and uh, perfect weather for cycling and indeed uh, for walking or going to the beach. It's now only about quarter past eight in the morning. It's already good weather for the beach. It's very, very pleasant. That looks like a good name for a street. I'd like to believe it was the name of the street. But there's the name of the street. Yeah. It's in that plaza, way to the beach. So this is what a beach in Poland looks like in the early hours of the morning. Well, it's not only that early hours, it's about what, 8.30 by now. But it's a really wonderful sand. Um, I can pick the sand up just to demonstrate. But it's, it's really very, very, it's very fine. Very, very fine. Here we've got shells in it. Um, which is a bit, a bit more unusual, I think. Now that's looking um, in an easterly direction, as is probably obvious because the sun has uh, uh, made it no doubt very dark. Now uh, there's the Baltic Sea, which is a bit on the cold side. Uh, I'd say it was. It, you, you don't go in there, you don't run into it really, you sort of. So the outside temperature and the sea temperature, you can have 20 degrees difference. Um, maybe, well. Today maybe about 15, but it's, it's 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 quite a big difference between the air temperature and the water temperature. There we have the port uh, here, so I'm going to go down there now. At people cleaning the beach up in the morning and uh, getting ready. Right. This will be relatively full. I wouldn't say it means it's totally incomparable. What am I getting in California and South of France or something? We were on the beach yesterday, the temperature was over 30 degrees. The nearest people to us were, were what, 15, kilom 15 meters away, so 20 meters, something like that. Right, Clear 
So we've got another view of the beach. These tank trap things here are uh, it's to break up the uh, the sea when it comes in during storms. And uh, whereas the the forest is now nurtured to, uh, to protect the dikes which are alongside the uh, uh, the, the beach. Uh, sometimes I think they still use these things, though, though it's to a lesser extent than, than once before. But I've seen them before, for example, in uh, the mouth of the Tyne, you've got similar type of structures occasionally used. There's the port, the river. Uh, I don't think they've landed any fish. I was on here on, on Friday, only one boat had landed fish, which was being sold, very small cod. And uh, I thought I'd go up now and see if there's any fish there being landed. Maybe a bit late for that indeed. It says the bridge over the river. I can't remember what the name of the river is. I'll write it down. If I remember to write it down. So you can see the fish are being landed and sold. And as it said on the sign back there, it's always fresh as one would expect coming straight off the boat. And there's some bends on it, so that means they've gotten smoked. Here's the port from the bridge. There's the bridge. And there's, and there's the view looking south. And there's my right. In fact, I think this road just goes nowhere. I'm not certain. It just seems to peter out on the map. Um, got these cobbled stones, which shows it's a very old road. And uh, having said the work's going on on it, cycling down cobblestone roads isn't very pleasant, so I'm not going to bother. I'll have a quick look though. Looks very pleasant. The forest. Now it must be going somewhere, otherwise they wouldn't be built, building a path down there. This is the road of Cherbiato. Well, the culture days are past. They've been and gone. But nonetheless, it's extremely nice to be here. Right, I'm now going back to Rogovo to see if the others in my party have got out of bed yet. <laughs> 